hello uh, welcome to artificial intelligence hub uh, today i'm going to give you demonstration uh, i'm making a chatbot applications uh, in flask so let's dive into the code further so here is i have just made two files training and app app uh, and here is the data set uh, data set file contain uh, some uh, data which we are giving to chatbot like uh, tags mean that it's the greeting tags and pattern pattern means uh, a user will give a command to a chatbot and the response will be from the three uh, answers so here is the data set and this is the file for training we are going to train the model here uh, the data set in the form of uh, JSON. So first of all, we need to import some necessary libraries like like import tk enter. I have installed. So I'm just giving you a demo how to install that library. Just wait. Just open Anaconda confirm all this pip install ml tk. I have already got libraries so that maybe it's giving me a requirement already satisfied the second one no pip in stall stall chaos and after that tensor and surf flow and and also flask for web application this is a framework for using the web application <coughs> so here what I am doing after that just I'm making a three list here and then I'm just calling reading the file uh, data set file which are in the form of the JSON so here are some tags that are describing the file format the JSON are the parent tag and a child that parent tag at uh, intent and then a pattern it will take uh, data and tokenize the file from um, data set library and after this process I'm just taking the words from the file and then uh, defining the class and everything and after that I'm just dump the data into the pickle file uh, let me I'm not for that I'm just you know for unix also install a pip install um, you need to install pip install pickle also pickle uh, so it will uh, make a two file the text file and a label file and after that uh, the training process will be started and the model uh, will be saved into the this file i what model i have used uh, an and model to train for that uh, for that the an and model uh, start from here and so first of all can you see here the first layer contain 128 neurons and I have used a dropout of 0.5 and a 64 and the last layer I have used uh, this is the last layer in my first layer I have 10 classes if I'm going to go to the data set here I have uh, uh, sorry I have oh wait a minute I just yeah sorry I let's start again uh, here I, uh, in my data set, uh, I have just 10 classes. I have described it the 10 classes. 10 classes mean the tags show the name of the classes. Each tag has the name of the classes. You, you can describe, you can increase that uh, data set according to your requirement. Uh, after that, I need to run this code. This code will, uh, <coughs> this code uh, will uh, make uh, files like for our test and I have created three files like test uh, can you see here test file and label file and the model file also so let's run this file it will it will run up to uh, uh, 200 epochs I have described the epochs here 200 epochs and the by size and everything so let me run it can you see here uh, the classes name and the data tokenization and everything uh, it will take uh, some time to run it that libraries yeah here are uh, here are a training and uh, here the document and uh, sorry i have a nine classes here a zero to nine mean ten classes here so it will train and after uh, 
the uh, 200 deposit the model is 10 and accuracy will be 100 percent accuracy and you can see here a three a more file after attending this uh, we will just uh, uh, go to this file it will this file is used for our flask application so if you know the idea of how to run the flask application you just need to load the data set and uh, and the file i have described like model file and labels and a text file and after that it cleaning the sentence and back up the words and predict the uh, data set so here is the flux function i have made the function like uh, index.html when i run the code it will the app will run and go to there and it will call that uh, function so can you see here just say take uh, the input a uh, user inbox input and call the chatbot function the chatbot response function take make the message and call this function for predicting the and get the response from the report and it will return to this function and it will show in the uh, uh, browser so let me run this so so after running this we try to Just uh, targeting the one time into seven, or it will not show good message. Sorry, I need to capture this. Yep, I'm going to run it again. So I just copy uh, this link. Uh, and just placing it here <coughs> you can see the chatbot welcome to the chatbot over here in the messages i'm just texting it hi hi so you to reply how are you where are you uh, is it will answer me According to this sentence, I'm just going to copy some of it like uh, this one. I'm just taking it here and pass to the chatbot. It will answer me offering for like it will answer me any of uh, the answer from uh, this uh, uh, class. So it will work according to you. Modify the according to your data set. And uh, thank you so much for watching this. And so please subscribe and like this. Uh, channel i will add more video regarding to ai and uh, artificial uh, and deep learning and machine learning thank you